Hey, what's up guys? It's Daba Phoenix with another video. Today we we're going to be attacking a 90 Sentinel in the Operation Revelation. Uh, this is part of Tier A. So as you can see, I've already taken out the, the Storm Turret and the Flood Turret. Uh, and the, the, uh, what do you call this thing? The Bunker. The bunker I just brought in my elite uh, banshees and just kind of with the wingmen and just kind of charged here and then I uh, charged here with uh, if this is a storm use your banshees but uh, be careful uh, then yeah you want to find the one that has a storm here because then you can just use your banshees uh, you want to find the one that has a storm down there and then uh, um, the air up here because then the air up here the air turret the uh, storm turret I'm sorry, yeah, you want the one with the flood down here and the storm up here. I always get them mixed up. Because the storm turret, the air turret, you could just bring scorchers right in here. Your suicide fairies. Not, well, I guess you could do them too. Uh, but I'm, special forces is what I meant to say. Bring them up. Scorchers, hovers, emegas, vanquishers. Whatever you want, so... Now I'm just doing a, uh, anytime you use your banshees, you always want to do like a lag test to see if they're lagging out or not. So, just kind of give them a bunch of random weird commands like this. And if they follow all your weird commands, then that means they're ready for battle. Alright, so yeah, and also, um, I took my banshees and I came in this angle for that bunker right here. So now, what I want to do is I'm going to kill this drone silo. So you just come way up top here. And while I'm traveling, I just want to let you guys know, um, see this is Brother Jeremiah right here. So as long as he's active, all these guys will have the red coin over their head, the old gold coin. Kind of looks like an arrow, though. And so what that means is, you ban they basically are invincible to Banshee damage. So, um, Let's see, this is, this is just a plain simple. Just drop them straight down. Be very careful of that. And pull them away just as soon as you do it. Just like that, nice and easy. As you can see, I took a little bit of damage with that, that one there because he was lagging uh, on my other video. Alright, so now... Um, let me end attack because I want to kill that one. Alright, so. 313, 314, 315. Okay, so now what we're going to do is take our aircraft. Again, do a lag test to make sure everything's good. Alright, so now what you want to do is I'm just going to charge right here. Click that. And basically, my, my banshees, I have three. Let's see what we got here. So we got three corrosive, three peacekeepers, and then four uh, napalms. So basically, as soon as I touch this turret, it's basically dead. Because um, I've also got the increased damage to buildings and I have the wingman so I think it takes up all my space so just just charge right in charge right out ah boy ah boy see if they lag like that you'll lose your benches but um, yes what you want to do actually before you do that is take out brother Jeremiah I forgot to take him out so let's do that real quick. So he's nice and easy. Just now, normally you don't clump these up like this. However, um, actually, yeah, we want to spread these out because there's still a flood turret out there. So if you're going up against a flood turret. Spread these guys as far apart as you can be. Because 
Uh, that flood turret has a big area of effect. And you can even suicide one of these guys. Like here, I'll suicide one of him. Just to get a range test on that flood. See, so basically, like, I know I can't put my troops higher than that. So you want to scatter, see how you hit on the right, so you want to scatter your guys over on the right a little bit, like this. Or, what am I saying, right, left. He's on the left, we, we want to go on the right, so we want to scatter all of our troops on the left. So this way he'll stay focused on our troops. Now we still got... Let's see. And yeah, we still got 40 dudes left. So, I mean. Yeah. See, now, normally you would scatter all these dudes if you wanted. Uh, but I think this should be good. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to clump these guys together. Because as I, as I hit the fist command, because that's what I'm going to do. Uh... As I hit the fist command, they're all going to stagger out. So we're just going to kind of just highlight a clump of them. But normally, like I said, you would want to spread all these out, especially if you do not have scorchers. Spread these guys out as far as you can. Like, I'd say maybe this wide from here to like that guy. And then maybe this wide here, if you're just going up against uh, Brother Jeremiah there. Alright, uh, let me spread these guys, put them over here. Now, here's the, here's the important part. Put your, uh, scorchers, like, right in the middle here. Because then as these guys take off, see they stagger? You can kind of just stay behind them, like this. Highlight, make sure you can count how many you have. I think I'm just gonna go for this uh this storm turret here. If you don't kill my things. Yeah, that's the good thing about micro healed units. You can suicide them like that. Boom. Now we just have to take care of that. So let me see if I have enough banshees to do that. If I do not have enough banshees to do that, then we will just... Uh... So, here's why you would have a second squad of um, these guys. Because then I could just deploy them here instead of having to go back to my base. But, I will be back. Because I have to go micro-heal these guys. So, yeah. So you guys just saw my elite riflemen get decimated, and here's why I have them in groups of 13. Repair, free. Repair, free. Repair, free. Repair, free. Repair, free. This way I don't have to sit here and create a new platoon. One, two. See, and sometimes they skip like this, and then you gotta sit there, man, you sit there and cancel them all out. And then sometimes they'll put the dead ones in with the regular ones, and it's just a mess. So, um, I like them just in platoons of 13 like this. And normally I would have my other 16, uh, 67 that I had scattered uh, in that other platoon all there, but... Um, yeah. I, just, I don't know why I don't have them scattered. Uh, and then, yeah, normally I don't have elite riflemen with these guys. Alright, so these should all be micro-healed. Yes, they are. So, here's another tip. The micro-healed ones, when you get a micro-heal, will always be in the in squad 1, so you can put any fresh ones in squad 2. So here's how to micro-heal. Here's how to micro-heal. Push repair. Wait about a second or two. Boom. Repair. Wait about a second or two. Boom. Repair. Wait about a second or two. Now sometimes they'll have like a skull on them. And um, you just want to wait till the red skull goes away. 
Uh, so if you have any customized ones like I do, keep the customized ones together. Keep the four customized together. I have the uh, increased range on all these, so I'm going to keep them together. Alright, so yeah. I'm going to deploy. Where are you? There you are. I'm going to deploy, and then I'll meet you back at the base. Oh, and an interesting tidbit. Um, always mark the base that you're hitting. Because, like, leave a platoon there, because then this way you can find it. When you go to deploy, you can just go to here, find one of your platoons, and then it'll automatically snap right to it. Alright, so now, and then, um, Grizzly, why are you way out here? Uh, random. Okay, he's still there for my other video. <laughs> Funny guy. Alright. So, yep, and here's another reason. For the 13s, you just call them. 13. 13. 13. So, yeah, I'll pause it, and then I'll, uh... Eh, they're all pretty much here anyway, so, well, yeah, I'm not gonna pause it. Alright, let's see. Someone likes my posts. And then leave this page. Let's see, I manage, uh... So delete and ban because you're posting cheats. Okay, anyways. Yeah, that's another thing. Um don't don't cheat on this event. It's really easy. Just take your time. Alright, so and also use these dudes right here. These guys, they're very helpful. Uh they they're more of a distraction. Like, they're very, um, easy to distract. Alright, so now, here is a tip for you. If you have banshees, oh, I've got eight of these guys. I could actually, potentially, take out that guy up there. Alright, so, I'm gonna get these banshees into the range of where, like that. So that they are um, shooting your drones. And then shoot this wall right here. Because then they'll start charging. They should. They are not charging. Okay. Um, Alright, plan B. Put the banshees right on him. And then while the banshees are in fist, actually no 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 fall back fall back fall back. Um, yeah, this strategy will only work once. Um, yeah, actually, we have, once they're here, we can yeah all right, go away. All right, we can do that once we kill him because he's got a range. He could probably shoot me out to here, so I got to get rid of him. So if you want to do banshees in this whole thing, uh, I'm going to use a shock tur uh, shock missile over here when I get my air over here. Uh, but at this point, you can just keep using your elite riflemen and scorchers, or hovers, or torches, or whatever. Elite vanquishers, hovers, whatever. Um, basically, you've got everything done. I'd say one plat for this. One plat of, um, what you can call it? Scorchers for that, one for that, one scorcher for that, one group of scorchers for that, and then one, group, one group for that. When I say scorchers, like, if you're skilled, you won't need to, uh, your scorchers won't actually die once you master the technique. Because then you pull your you end attack when you have about 14 elite riflemen left. So you just shoot a shock right there. And then you come in the angle like this, where those le those dudes ain't. You don't want to come in down here. You want to come in at the top. So this way they'll hit your your men. Again, as soon as you as soon as you notice he's done, you pull back. Oh shoot! Come on, come on, come on! Kill it, kill it! Pull back. There we go. Good, good, good. So now I need to get my rifle. Uh, I need to get my uh, air back over here. 
Alright, so what we're going to do now is we're just going to go, now that we've done everything else, we're going to send our banshees. Come on, follow me. Follow my command. And then we will... So now, I mean, you don't really need elite riflemen anymore in the front because your banshee uh, wingmen will take care of everything. So we just... Why do I only have four banshees? Oh, I forgot to deploy these. See, so what was... You want at least eight banshees because you need a lot of wingmen because these guys kill your wingmen fast. As you saw earlier, um, I went all suicidal here. I forgot to hit the fist button. Um, when you go for this, you want to hit the fist button and then pull out as quick as you can. Because uh, in this way, your banshees won't die like mine did. So basically, yeah, just charge that. And then tell these guys to charge. Uh, at this point, yeah, you can just fist your banshees. And then you control your scorchers. So it also helps if you don't um, target the same one that your banshee does. Now see here, we've got a corner. So we're going to make sure that we're going to advance the banshees first. And I'm going to use my scorchers and I'm going to pop these guys open. And see now this is, these are more sacrifices that we can use. Again, keep your keep your banshees on fist. Also, keep periodically check, make sure you still got your eight banshees or however many banshees you started with. Because now at this point, yeah, you could just basically just click each one of these dudes. Because then your say your scorchers will take care of them. Again, if you don't have scorchers, you can use hovers, torches, um, pretty much anything. Oh crap! Yeah, we got to watch out for the last stand defenders in that one building there. Um, I did not expect my scorchers to pop them open. Uh, but, yeah, we should be able to actually. Uh, let me see here. Let me see if I have any good platoons. I do not. Alright, so let me... Cause I only got eight minutes left. I'm going to call my special forces dudes in. My two plats of special forces. Um, where is the other plat of special forces, dudes? There they are. So yeah, normally you would do this with um, um, scorchers or whatever. And you want to watch out for the last stand defenders. I did not expect the building to pop open. Like it did. That's actually the first time that ever happened to me, so. Yeah, alright, so let me see here. Alright, so now, again, we're just going to deploy these as if these were my scorchers. Apparently, I cannot deploy all of them. So, I'm just going to treat these guys as if they were my scorchers. At least these guys can take a hit now. That's good. So again, just deploy those. And this uh, this also works in the 80 base. Once you kill the war uh, the war horses, um, if you've seen my 80 base, I do the same technique. Basically, I uh, you put the banshees up and have the have the uh, special forces shoot at your banshees, the banshee wingmen, and then you can then. Basically, just slaughter the special forces dudes. Because as long as my banshees are on fist, they're not really gonna do anything. They're not gonna get hit or anything like that. Now, notice I'm not advancing my special forces because we have a heavy gunner right here. I'm gonna wait till the heavy, till my banshees get a little bit closer to that heavy gunner, and then I'll pop this guy. Pop him right now because he'll be like a meat shield. See, now I can go get him because he's he's there. Alright. Just kind of work your way around. Because, see, 
they're not going to shoot your, they shouldn't shoot your special forces unless Kixai changes something. Uh, they should care more about your Banshee wing drones. And your, they, as you can see, bottom right, I still have eight, eight Banshees. So now let me show you something um, here. Very another useful tidbit. So let's pretend like my my banshees all just died. Let's just pretend that, all right? But I have a lead heavy gunner, dude, and a regular heavy gunner. Special forces will work too. If they don't have a special, if they don't have a heavy gunner, then you can shoot them and they won't do you any damage. Look, right now he's undamaged. Watch, just target. That the this will only work if you kill the heavy gunner. Boom, dead, no damage. Look at this. And it has to be one of the units with 500 range, because all these guys they got 450 range, even the lead guy. So as long as the lead guy. See, like, there's the lead guy. If the lead guy's in the back like that, he ain't gonna charge at you. Once you kill the heavy gunner, boom, that's it. And... Come on. Kill him. Alright, I gotta start mopping these guys. I gotta start uh, killing these buildings because of uh, the time limit in the bottom right is the base is about to end. But normally what you would do is kill these guys. Like, pop those guys open, and then, watch this. Pop those guys open. Don't give them any command or anything. Because, watch, the, uh, the uh, last end defenders will kill these guys now. So they're kind of like a meat shield. Just kind of put them where the last end defender guys will be. See? And then this way, they soak up the damage. So yeah, that's how you do a uh, 90 base. And just clean up everything here. And you can like you can mul you can clean multiple or you can hit multiple buildings like I did because you know you got those guys and um, our special forces killing them. Oopsie, got one more. There we go. And um, yeah, if you always remember to hit fist, uh, your benches won't get. Uh, two jacked up. Look, seventy thousand XP, and I got forward operating base, which is garbage. But yeah, so there you go.